We explore in the keyboard library. The library is usually a set of different modules put together. You have to install the keyboard library. I already have that. So I'm just going to go import keyboard. And one of my favorite uh, things to do with the keyboard library is actually abbreviations. This is what it looks like. Add abbreviation. I'm going to use whenever I type up the string BB, replace it with Bob the Builder. Click on run. Let's see what it looks like. If I write BB and I press space, it gets replaced automatically with Bob the Builder. This could be something as simple as, you know, whenever I type Smith and I press on space, replace it with Thor and his vest. And the beauty with this abbreviation is that it will replace anywhere on the computer. So whether you're in a web browser and Google Docs, or Word. There you go, Smith, and I put space, it gets replaced with Horton is best. Could be really evil if you leave this on someone's computer without them knowing. Okay, the other cool thing with keyboard is actually use adding hotkeys. Let's go and add a hotkey here. So keyboard dot add hotkey, and then whatever you want to trigger the hotkey. So I can do, for example, shift plus one. Okay, whatever you want to trigger the hotkey is what you can write. Uh, usually it's the name of the key. And if you want to add a second key, you add the plus and then whatever the second key is. So in this case here, whenever I do shift and one, it's going to trigger a function called a group of code. A function is a group of code. Potentially, it's going to run multiple codes based on the data that I've given it. And so, for example, to define this group of code, I'm going to go def group of code. Empty brackets. And then a colon. We usually use empty brackets because sometimes you can give this group of code data we don't really need to do that right now. We're not passing anything to it. We're just calling up a couple lines of code. So in this case here, I'm going to go print. We're going to go hello. And I can even do something else. I can do like print. And then I can do goodbye. It's awful today. All right, so if I run it, shift plus one, it's going to trigger a function called group of code. This function needs to be before where I set this hotkey. So again, whenever I do shift and one, it's going to do print this and it's going to print that. Okay, let's try it. Shift and one. There you go. Shift and one, shift and one. Whenever I type those two things together, it triggers this. That can be particularly useful if you're using, for example, um, you want to open up a website. So you have like different websites that are your favorite. You can use like, for example, uh, the web browser module to trigger whenever you press like Alt Shift One to trigger, you know, Google.com. So let's go see what that looks like. Whenever I press, let's say Alt plus shift plus one. I want you to start a function called Google. So my function name is Google. And I want you to open a website. I'm just going to move two lines here. And I'm put web browser dot open. And then I'm opening this website here. I'm actually missing the import, so I'm gonna go import web browser. Import, import web browser. Whenever I type Alt Shift One, trigger the function called Google, which is gonna open Google.com. Let's try running it. Alt Shift and One, and then it opened Google.com. 
All right, so what would it look like if I had multiple hotkeys? Would look something like this. So let's go copy paste our hotkey. And let's go copy paste it. Let's do Alt Shift 2 and Alt Shift 3. My Alt Shift 1 is going to trigger Google. My Alt Shift 2 is going to trigger YouTube. So I'm just going to call this function YouTube. And then the last one is going to be Spotify. All right. And then now I need to copy paste my functions three times. Okay. This one is called YouTube. And it opens youtube.com. And then this one here, it's triggering a function called Spotify, so we've got to match it. And then obviously this is opening Spotify.com. Alt shift. Oops. Alt shift one, alt shift two, alt shift three. And there you go, all of my hockeys are working. And you can make this, you can combine this with Pi Auto GUI and do a bunch of different things. So for example, when you do ever do whenever you do Alt Shift 3, it could do a thousand clicks. Uh, really powerful. Um, you know, it overrides anything on your computer, so it does take precedence. So whatever hotkey you're doing is gonna override whatever hotkey's already there. So whenever you press even the letter S, for example, it will do that hotkey. I hope this helps. So again adding a hotkey, triggering a function.